Servus aus Berlin. Hi, my name is Matthias Rillich and today I'll talk about how to make first contact with your future supervisor. So this is a relatively short point to make really, but it's also important and it can decide about um, your success or lack of success in um, contacting somebody. Um, many PIs like myself, we get many, many requests um, every week. Um, of students or postdocs that want to come to the lab for a degree um, or a postdoctoral uh, research stint or just a visit. And there are just some small things that you should <laughs> know about when you contact people, I think, that um, will help you um, making successful contact. Now, the first thing is um, use a personal address. There's so many emails you get with like, dear sir, or um, they, they read like they've been sent by a by a robot or directly out of a spreadsheet as a chain letter, so it's off-putting. So uh, one of the most important things, of course, is to address the person with their name, dear Dr. So-and-so. Um, and it's a bonus if you can spell the name right. Um, in my case, my, my name is only six letters, but 80% of the emails manage to misspell that name somehow. So I mean, that's certainly not fatal, but I think it's important to address the people by name. That's certainly quite important. The first thing that you then do, I mean, keep that email short. I think this is also important. Don't write pages. Um, keep it sweet and short, short and sweet. And um, then, of course, first give your background, who you are and what you're aiming for. Like, I am a master student in my final semester and I'm looking for a PhD opportunity. Or I am going to finish my PhD pretty soon. I'm looking for um, a postdoc. Um, so, and then mention what your background is. So, I'm a soil ecologist, I've worked with fungi. And then, of course, make the connection with your host lab, with your potential host lab, um, by mentioning some of the work that they've done, so to make clear that you have um, spent the effort to inform yourself about what's going on in that lab. So, I've recently been very interested in your work on XYZ in the lab, microplastic or whatever. And um, this is something I've discovered that I'm very interested in and therefore I want to focus that on my future and I think your lab would be great for that. So this is sort of the, um, the goal and how you connect with that lab. Um, and it's almost always pointless to propose something that that lab doesn't have an interest in because that will be the first email you get is like, sorry, that doesn't fit within the scope of our lab. So make that effort to connect with something that this lab has, for example, recently published on or they mentioned on the website. And um, yeah, it's important to make that connection. And as you make that connection, I think it's also good to convey a sense of excitement. You know, the stuff that, uh, that really um, turns you on, that you think is a, just a cool topic that you want to spend some more time working on. So make clear what you're excited about. I think this, this comes across as very positive and um, energetic. And I think um, it more likely elicits a positive response for sure from the person that you're contacting. So make sure how this, you know, what your background is, how it fits into the lab specifically, and then what really excites you. That should come, come out very clearly in that letter. Um, of course, finances are important. So, um, you know, you could ask if there's uh, open positions available in the lab. Most likely that's not the case because if they're open positions, they're typically advertised. Uh, but then um, you should have already looked at uh, at least a little bit at some financing options. For example, what scholarships would be available to you either from the host country, like Germany has certain uh, schemes that you... Uh, could easily research, or maybe your own country has, uh, if you're coming from a different country, um, also has a funding scheme. So you should convey a notion that, you know, you're aware the stuff costs money, you need to have a scholarship or a fellowship or grant support, and um, indicate your willingness to apply for that and uh, signal that you've already, you know, gotten some basic information about um, what, uh, what the options are. So, and in the end, of course, attach your, your CV. Um, don't make people ask for your CV. Uh, attach your CV and attach it in PDF. <laughs>
Yeah, so I think if you follow these steps, then your first contact to your lab that you want to work with should be a great one. Hi there. If you like this video, don't forget to click like down there. And also remember to subscribe to the channel and feel free to leave comments. See ya!